Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you top down mixing in Reaper. Now, the idea of top down mixing is to approach things from the top down in terms of processing our track during the mix. In other words, starting from the master bus first, working our way down to the other bus tracks or groups, and then finally the individual tracks. And using this method, we can mix our songs or projects a lot quicker. Let's take a look. I have a project in front of me here with some drum tracks, some bass tracks, guitars, keyboards, and a sax. And the first thing I want to start off with is the master track with a two bus. So we'll go up here to the view menu and choose master track. That opens up this master track where all the other tracks are flowing through. So we'll go to the effects on that track. Now I'm going to start off with a compressor. I'll search 1175. And this is the compressor plugin we're going to use. Of course, you can use any compressor you prefer. Double click it. And now this compressor is on the master bus. So let's play around with compressing the whole mix. It just adds a bit of glue to hold the mix together dynamically. Now, if you notice, the whole mix sounds a bit dark. So let's put an EQ on the whole track. We'll go to the Reaper effects and choose Re EQ. Now let's make the mix a bit brighter, starting with upper mids and then a high frequency shoving EQ. It's already starting to sound a lot better. Now we want to move this, or mostly the EQ, to the buses on the tracks. As you can see, I created buses for my drums, bass, and guitar, but the keyboard and the sax are just separate. By using buses, we can use this technique, top down mixing, to mix quicker. So let's drag the EQ directly to the drum bus and do the same on the bass bus, on the guitar bus, on the keyboards, and finally on the sax. So now we can remove the EQ from the master track as we've put it on the buses, which is gonna sound the same. Clear it, listen to our mix, And it sounds the same because the EQ is on each bus in our project. So let's start tweaking it from there. Let's go to our drums. Let's compress the drum bus with the 1175 compressor. Let's put it before the EQ. Just tightens up the drum bus. Sounded pretty good. Now let's move on to the bass bus. Now we can EQ it to sound perfect on the bass bus, including both bass tracks. Let's compress it, put it before,
just tightens up the bass track. And move on to the guitar. Let's compress the guitar bus, put it first. Then we can tweak the EQ. Sounds better. And do the same thing with the keyboard. And finally, the sax. Let's compress it. Let's hear it all together. Let's hear before. And after. So very quickly, using this method, top down, we can mix a track so much quicker. And if we're happy with the sound, we're done. But we can go a bit deeper to the individual tracks. Let's do that with the drums. And again, we'll take our EQ and move it to the individual tracks. Just drag it over to the kick, the snares, the toms, and the overheads. And now we can remove it from the drum bus. And it's going to sound the same. Because each track has the same EQ that was on the bus. And now we could tweak each one. Starting with the kick. Let's compress it. And the snare. Let's compress the snare. The bottom snare. Let's check out the overheads. Let's hear it all together. Again, let's hear it before it sounds pretty rough and after
And now for the finishing touch, let's go back to the master track. Let's add a limiter to this. I'm going to use the event horizon and just bring down a few dB to make the mix sound louder and more in our face. Again, before. And after. So in just a few minutes, we created a pretty good mix without diving in so deeply to the individual tracks. Starting from the top on the master track, working down to the buses, and then finally on the individual tracks. It's a quicker way of mixing, especially if you want to do it pretty quickly. So that's pretty much it. That's top-down mixing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.